Hello, and welcome to the VM Productions vlog. I'm Kristoff, as always, your loyal vlogger. Now, normally in these vlogs, I talk about the filmmaking aspect of VM Productions, but this time I want to focus on something a little different. Those of you who are longtime fans of the VM Productions already know the strange and sinister story of screenwriter Robert Hurley, but the tale is weird enough to repeat again. While working on the award-winning film, Notes from the New World, Hurley got involved with some unsavory influences. Besides falling deeply in love with a prostitute named Natalia, he managed to run afoul of the Russian Mafia and get mixed up in a creepy religious cult. Hurley disappeared before filming was completed, leaving behind an unfinished script, an empty apartment, and countless questions. Now, the film Dostoevsky reimagined the making of Notes from the New World covers this tumultuous period as the film's cast and crew grapples with this bizarre mystery while trying to complete their movie. Lauren, the, creator, the creative director for VM Productions, has been on the case since she joined the staff. Unfortunately, she hasn't had a very good time of it. Our colleagues have dropped out mysteriously, uh, valuable information has totally disappeared, and many leads have ended up as nothing more than dead ends. Lauren's been following the whole mysterious cult aspect of this mystery, and therein lies the problem. With all due respect, I think she's been barking up the wrong tree. Now, don't get me wrong. I was initially on board with the whole evil cult theory. After all, Hurley's apartment was filled with weird symbols and messages that pointed to very nasty people being involved with his disappearance. That being said, it may be we've all been looking at the wrong sort of people. Another member of our production team, Maz, has been studying everything left behind by Hurley, including the video journals filmed during production. Kamaz has an experience in the field of brain-related science, like neuromarketing and behavioral sciences. His conclusions differ greatly from Lawrence, and I think are much closer to the truth. Natalia, the prostitute Hurley was in love with, was in deep with the Russian Mafia. She had gone so far as to actually steal money from, the, from a Russian mob boss. Never a good sign, never a good choice for people who want a long life. She doubtlessly turned to Hurley for help and support, and they were both killed for their transgressions against the mob boss. Best of all, they could pretend no crime had been committed. They ransacked Hurley's apartment for any incriminating evidence, disposed of their bodies, and left behind signs pointing in another direction, towards the cult Hurley had been obsessively researching. From this point on, it was easy to leave the frightened and distraught cast and crew anywhere the Mafia wanted on a tangled path full of lies and intrigue. The Russian Mafia constructed a complex and wild story. Is it any wonder so many people bought into it? Lauren remains skeptical, haunted by missing colleagues and strange events that she insists can't be explained away. I'm inclined to believe Tomaz's analyst of events. You can decide which story, if either, makes the most sense to you as the VM Productions team continues to investigate what happened to Robert Hurley. More information is available here. To sign up for our free mailing list and stay up to date with what's happening with our independent films, we'll also keep you updated on the investigation on Robert Hurley. Hopefully we'll have some exciting news to report the next time we talk. I'm Christoph, and you've been watching the VM Productions blog.